Hello! So, up can we get some uh, video kind of questions from our videos and like our testimony video that we've posted online. So sometimes we'll get um, some of you guys um, who watch leave us little messages on our Instagram or our Facebook. We actually get quite a few on Facebook, so we're sorry that sometimes we can't see them all. But um, I just opened one this morning and uh, they, I guess this lady, she's not been an ex, she's never been a JW, but she, her friend, um, is in the organization and I guess that they're kind of struggling and her family is devout members and uh, she wanted to just thank us for being brave enough to leave our story online and leave and so that was really nice of her to say that um, but she was wanting to know if there's any advice other than what we've already shared online to kind of like help her maybe inspire her friend to leave or whatever so um, yeah, my advice to this lady, I'm also going to message her directly, would be, and to anyone who has a similar question, I think it's kind of like an, you have an upper hand when you are never been a Jehovah's Witness, so she's never been one, so the person you're talking to, you're not going to feel so threatened by them as if you were talking to an ex-JW or, you know what I mean? Like, a JW is not going to want to talk to us because they think we're scary. So I think already she has an upper hand, and I would just, first thing is share like unconditional love with this person because JWs don't really think that the world or anyone outside has real love and that they're like evil and crazy so it's like that might be the first kind of way to build a re relationship but also be like oh this, like we're not the only ones who are decent humans kind of thing um, and because she's a Christian um, the person who messaged me you can show Christ like love to this person real Christ-like love, like what is the fruits of the spirit and everything, so show that. But then I would ask questions, so instead of saying, hey, I know that your Bible has this false scripture, or hey, I know you guys have false prophecies, because I can make them defensive, and they might not even know about these false prophecies, so they don't know what to say. They might just be like, that's not true. I would just like ask questions, be like, I thought I heard this from someone, can you explain that to me? Get them to show it in their doctrines and stuff. Or like, I have my Bible, I'm a Christian, and my Bible says this is who Jesus is. How come, like, does your Bible say the same thing? I just want to understand if we're on the same page, because we say we're both Christians here. And then try to get to like, the meat of like, what is the real doctrine on things, and just, yeah, asking a lot of questions and help them kind of pick their own brain, and like, then they will kind of formulate their own questions, their own doubts, and their own curiosity to want to know, like, truth, and maybe they'll then wake up and realize it's not real what they believe as a JW but I don't know it's kind of tricky and everybody's personal personally different and has their own defenses and their own biases and their own reasons for staying in something even when it's tough so at the end of the day the best thing you can also do is pray for them because God will work in their heart but yeah that's probably very long but give them love and ask them questions that's the nut <laughs> in the nutshell and yeah thanks for your question maybe we'll answer a few more of these questions in the future Goodbye, I'm having tea in my Christmas mug even though it's almost March. <laughs>